I'm Jan Odin and I play Ibn Idris in Jean-Jacques Anou's new film Black Gold. And I'm from London, originally from Birmingham, uh, but we shot the film in Tunisia. We managed to film the last scenes, even though it looked like we wouldn't be able to. Um, we just managed to, by the skin of our teeth, um, finish the project and then they moved on to Qatar. The film is about um, you know, the, the Arabs uh, progressing and moving and coming out of a situation to embrace another and to look forward. And, and in, in a sense, that is what happened uh, throughout the Middle East, you know, nations and countries that have been bound and, um, you know, restricted for all these years were able to unite and break out of it and move into, you know, better horizons. And so in that way, the film does echo what went on. I play Ibn Idris, and Ibn Idris is, uh, is, 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 is head of the secret army, head of the secret intelligence. Um, the king, um, played by Antonio Banderas, I am his right-hand man, and I have a pretty ruthless streak. Love is involved, and uh, what I see as betrayal is involved as well. So I take that stuff very personally and it makes me a little bit vicious. But Jean-Jacques wants you to take everything back down, back to the heart and back to, you know, the truth of it. And he notices what you're doing. So you don't have to overplay anything. Jean-Jacques seen it, you know, if you've, if you've done it and you felt it, he's seen it and it's fine. I've been through different things and each, character that I play does draw on something about myself, something. And, um, you know, I've, I've played uh, silly, silly gang leaders, uh, you know, in the film that I did before this one, and, you know, I was a womanizer. I've played all these sorts of uh, s silly boy roles. But then I can play serious as well, and yeah, maybe, maybe at the moment I like the serious more. We came from a very um, religious background in Bangladesh. We grew up in Stoke-on-Trent. Before I lived in Birmingham, I, lived, I was born in Stoke-on-Trent, and that was quite a, a racist uh, time, a racist place and time. It was, it, was a, it was a difficult childhood. It was a troubled childhood, and um, you know, there were a lot of things that you know, I couldn't help. There were a lot of things that were put on me in the situation I was in, which is quite extreme and, and hard. And I think it made me difficult at school. Even though I, was, I, I think I was a nice kid, I um, was easily distracted. And one of the lessons that I found that I was good at or enjoyed doing, because there were other lessons I was good at too, I just didn't like them. They didn't stretch me, they didn't challenge me. But with, the, with drama, it was a way that I could really just um, show off, really. And I think I needed to show off because I, I didn't really have anyone, um, didn't really have anyone um, taking care of me, I don't think. Um, and I think with the drama, yeah, it just gave me a chance to sort of unload a lot of what was going on inside of me, a lot of what I was thinking, and, um, and I used to make people laugh doing it as well. And then I started getting into youth theatre and stuff like that, and I don't know. I then forgot all about it, and then later on moved to London and thought, yes, I should pursue that, you know, even if I don't make anything of myself, at least I've got to bite the bullet and go to drama school and risk it, see what happens. And yeah, it's the best thing I did. One of the best things I did. 